In this video, we're going to have a look at the installation of an outdoor hot water heater at a newly built house. This water heater holds 150 litres of water, which is about 35 gallons, depending on which country you're in around the world, and is able to run off household electricity or solar panel power. The first thing to do is to place the brackets on the water heater in the correct position. The water inlet should be positioned at the lower part of the tank and the hot water outlet should be positioned at the upper part of the tank. Bolts are easily removed and the bracket is placed into the correct position. All the bolts that have been removed are refitted to the tank. There are often special valves like pressure reducing valves that are supplied with the water heater. Remove them and keep them in a safe place until they can be fitted into the system. Next the tank can be secured to the wall. There are two plumbers on this job and, although it can be done by one person, two people make the task much easier. Placing a spirit level on the tank allows it to be positioned horizontally, which is important for water flow through the system. The positions for the top bolts are marked on the wall. and then the positions for the bottom bolts are measured and transferred to the wall. A masonry bit of the right size is used to drill the holes. In this case, an 18 volt cordless drill is used, and I must say it does the job amazingly well. Plastic plugs are inserted into the wall. The tank is now ready to be fitted to the wall, and once again, having an assistant is helpful. A plastic protective cover is fitted to prevent dirt from getting into the tank. And this is removed from the hot water side of the water heater. And the next stage is to fit the copper piping to connect the water supply to the inlet and the hot water outlet to the house. Plumber's tape is fitted to the tank joints to prevent leaks and the outlet fitting is screwed onto the tank. While one plumber secures the fittings, the other cuts the copper pipe, using measurements that are called to him by his mate. A pipe cutter is used to cut the copper pipe. The pipe cutter leaves a straight, clean edge which is essential to create a watertight joint when the fittings are attached to the pipe.
A copper ring is slipped over the pipe and plumber's tape is wound over this copper ring. The fitting slides onto the pipe up to the ring and the bolt is secured to the threads of the fitting. with the tape-covered brass ring being squeezed into the joint to create the seal. This modern method of joining copper pipe does not require any soldering, reducing the time and hassle factor of plumbing quite a lot. Tape is wound over the copper ring on the other side of the pipe, and it's fitted to the tank. This is a three-way fitting. The pipe that's attached to the upper side is used to provide water to solar water heating system if solar is fitted at a later stage. This water heater operates using standard household electricity. A series of copper pipes will be fitted to connect the outlet to the house. The main water supply to the house is switched off and the pipe to the water tank, which was pre-installed, is cut and allowed to drain. Now the final outlet connections are made. A tool is used to create a straight edge on the plastic pipe. Is that just roughen it up? And a fitting that is compatible to the brass fittings is fitted. This huge crimping tool is very expensive. You may be well advised to hire one if you do this job yourself. Holes are drilled for the plastic pipe supports that will support the copper pipe. The outlet piping is now complete and all that remains is to tighten up the fittings. All of the fittings were left slightly loose to allow the piping to be moved around during installation. These are tightened up at this stage. Now the same procedure happens on the other side of the tank to install the cold water inlet piping. <laughs>
The pipe for a future solar water heating system is fitted and capped off. All joints are taped and fitted in the same way as was done on the hot water side of the tank. The cold water inlet pipe is cut and prepared and joined to the copper inlet piping system. One difference is that a pressure control valve is installed to ensure that the pressure of the water going into the tank is not too high to cause damage to the tank. All joints are tightened and checked. Now it's time to switch on the water supply. This is done very slowly to be certain that there is no sudden pressure to the system. When the plumber is satisfied, he opens the on-off valve to allow water to flow into the tank. Good, no leaks. As the tank is full of air, the solar outlet is removed and the air is allowed to escape from the system. As the tank fills up, more air is released from the system until the tank is full and the water emerges. After which the pipe is replaced and the system is sealed. This job took about an hour and a half, done by two people with a lot of experience. 